Uh, hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Drive Sorry, bad start. Here we're here with number 9 and 10 from 5.2. Okay. Speaking of dot, we have a less than or a greater than. There's no equal to there. So our line is going to be dotted. Okay. And it's going to be shaded above. So this is a dotted line. and above it. Oh, let's see. There's a couple different ways you could do this. If you put this in your graphing calculator, you're going to need to put that in parentheses. Okay. Well, the y-intercept is 2. The slope is negative 3 fifths. So that is down 3, rise, right 5. So if you put a 5 in, in your graphing calculator, if you put a 5 in for x, uh, you'll notice you get negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So let's change that to a red line. Here, go back to there and there. Okay, we want to shade above it. So, all of those points work. Okay, so the directions also ask for us, name a point that is a solution to the inequality. How about the point 5, comma 5? That works. Let's put it in and make sure. Uh, if you put in a 5 for x, you get a negative 1. And 5 for y, 5 is bigger than negative 1, so that works. How about a point that doesn't work? How about that one? That one doesn't work, okay? All right, now 10 is particularly difficult. Remember that points are written x, comma, y. Okay? So let's just think points that work. Y is bigger than negative 6. So like 1 comma 1, that works. 1 comma 0, that works. 1 comma negative 1, that works. 1 comma negative 2, that works. As long as our Y is bigger than negative 6. Well, let's look at some points. What is the line Y equals negative 6? Well, that's going to contain the point 0, negative 6, and 1, negative 6. All of those points, the y equals negative 6. Well, we want y to be greater than or equal to. So this is a filled-in line, and we want to go above it. So let's make this filled in. And let's shade above it. And you'll notice that all of those points in the green shaded zone, they satisfy that requirement. Hope that helps. Boom!